everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the design of a multi-level NAND circuit and I will um, do an example about this uh, procedure. So what you have to do is that first you have to realize your function and um, simplify that switching function. Then what you have to do is just design the multi-level circuit uh, with AND and OR gates. So you're not doing anything um, other than designing the circuit using AND and OR gates. Okay, so until now, we're not doing anything with the NAND gates. And when we are dealing, uh, when we are working on um, designing the circuit using AND and OR gates, you have to make sure that since we are designing a multi-level NAND circuit, okay, so your output gate must be an OR. And also, you cannot use an AND output as the input of another AND gate, and you cannot use an uh, OR input or output as the input of another OR gate, okay? Why is this um, a, a rule in this procedure? Because we are dealing with levels of the circuit here. So I need to have one level of OR, one level of AND, so I cannot have, for example, AND and OR in the same um, level. All right, then what we have to do is that when we design the circuit with AND and OR gates, we have to number the levels starting with the output level as one, okay? So I will go ahead and start the example and then talk about step number three uh, more when we are in the example. So here is the function that I have, f is equal to a prime, B prime plus C, D plus E prime, F prime, G prime. And this is or with H, I prime, J, K. All right. So now what I have to do here uh, on step two, I said that I have to design a multi-level circuit of AND and OR gate. And I have to make sure that at the output, I have the OR gate, okay? So what I will do is that since I need the output gate to be an OR, okay, so we already know that my output should be an OR gate. And we can clearly see that the output gate is 1K, right? And then I have one H, I prime J, and one that big, um, parentheses over there, okay, which is this one. Okay, so I'm talking about this whole part here, okay? Uh, this is just, so you don't have to write, for example, this H I prime J here, but I'm just writing it so uh, you can follow the path what I'm doing, all right? Now, so I have to um, create H I prime J. So H I prime J is just an AND gate, right? That we have H I prime and J. H I prime and J. Now, I have to create that big parenthesis over here. I mean, this big um, curly bracket that I have here. So I see that it is an AND gate that one input is a prime and the other input is this bracket here, okay? And that bracket consists of three different terms that are passing through an OR gate. So I do have an OR gate and my OR gate has three inputs. So one of the inputs is B prime. The other input that I have is an AND gate with F prime and G prime. And I see that I also have another AND gate here that one of the inputs is C and the other input is an OR gate with inputs D and E prime. Okay, so I create my circuit. I design my circuit using only AND and OR gates. 
and I can see that my output gate is an OR gate, obviously because we need it to be since we are designing a NAND gate. All right. Now what we have to do, now we go to step three. So we have to number the levels starting with the output level as level number one. So I see that here is my level one. Then I will go to the second level. So this is level number two. Then level number three. Uh, level number four and level number five. So it states in step number three that I do have to replace all these gates by an AND gate. All right, so I have to replace all these or an AND gates by an AND gate. So I'm going to just draw an AND gate here instead of these gates okay so here i had an input that i deleted so this is a nand gate then i do have this gate here as a nand gate another gate here And for level five, sorry. So this is my circuit all with NAND gates, but we're still not finished. So we have to leave all the interconnections between gates unchanged. As an example, an interconnection between gates are, for example, this one, right? This is an interconnection. So this is what we call as an interconnection between two gates. Okay, then it says that go ahead and leave the inputs to levels two, four, and six, and so on and so forth. So the even the level the even levels unchanged. Okay, so we don't care about the inputs here. We don't care about the inputs here. But in it says that invert any literals which appear as inputs to level one, three, and five. Okay, so what I have to do, I have to go ahead and invert my inputs to level one three and five here. So this K will be K prime. See, I'm not changing that H I prime J Y because it is an interconnection between two gates. So the only input that number one uh, in number in level number one should be changed is K, which is becoming K prime. Then we go to level number three and we see that this B should be prime should be B. Okay. Then we will leave the inputs to level four unchanged and we go to level five and this will be D prime. And all right, so here is my NAND network. So I use the AND or gate and I use the procedure that I just explained in order to design my NAND network. If you have any questions, you can um, leave me in the comments down below. I will talk about designing a multi-level NOR gate in a separate video. Thank you for watching.